Hey guys, it's Tiara Yasmin. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the very first spooky set of the season. I'm so excited. I really am. This is like my absolute favorite time of year. Nobody can tell me anything about fall. It's the best season. You can fight me if you want to. This is the best time of year. I love October. I love the fall. My birthday's around this time. And I'm just ready for it all to be started. So I'm going to start off this season kind of early. I know it's still technically summer, but I don't care. We're in fall in my head. So I'm going to give you guys today a very cute inspo for some spooky nails. And what other way to do that than to give you a set inspired by the movie Coraline. I don't know if you guys have seen Coraline. I think it's a kind of, you know, interesting movie. I think it's definitely worth a watch for the spooky season. I will say though, all the girls that I've seen on the internet or just people in general that have been saying, oh, like Coraline's my like comfort movie, da da da, like you might want to seek help because it's not a creepy, like scary movie. It's obviously meant for kids, but it's also like low key kind of creepy and it's net not to me what I would consider a comfort movie. I think comfort for me would be like a Christmas movie or something like sweet and wholesome. This one is a little bit, you know, a little spooky to be a kids movie so i don't really know but nonetheless <laughs> i'm gonna do this one for the Coraline girls so if you are watching this and are a Coraline fan or you've seen it and you like it go ahead and drop a uh, mm, i don't know if they have a button emoji do they have a button emoji go ahead either comment a button or a black heart <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I'm just on go right now. I'm definitely in a yappy mood. I just got home from work. <laughs> yes, work. So like I said in a previous video, if you guys have been keeping up, I had some life events or life updates, I should say, um, that have come up. One of them would be me just getting a full-time job. I'm trying very, very hard to move, <laughs> for one, just trying to move away and get, you know, my own place and just kind of go from there so i'm trying to save up as much money as i can so i've began working full-time and i'm actually just proud of myself for doing that because i'm not somebody that typically just i don't really care to work i know that sounds really bad like i know some people really love the opportunity to be able to work and i'm not ungrateful for the opportunity at all it's just that i have other goals i think in mind and i think this is just a stepping stone for me in a way i do care dearly about my business so that's really what i want to focus on most in life is just making my business more than it can be and achieving those goals because i see what it's done for other people and i've seen just like the potential that my own business has based off of the reviews i get and just the ability that i have so again very grateful for the opportunity i did pray on this for a very 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 long time to be able to work full-time so i was having a very hard time getting hired i don't know if anyone else has like had that issue recently just after that whole ordeal when the whole world just decided to shut down and the rise of like ai and like all that stuff it's definitely affecting how people are getting jobs and just professions as well so like in their careers and things like that so um i had a, tr a little trouble getting hired for a little bit but this is my testimony so i'm really happy to be working full time my first big girl job my first big girl hours so i'm really happy about that but yeah i do want to you know progress in my field of work i love my business so much and i do not want to give it up anytime soon so just hoping to stack up some money and see where i can go from there With the movie Coraline, there's a little girl, she's got blue hair, you might have seen her before and I think actually recently they did like a like re-airing of that movie in theaters, like the same movie but they just, you know, had it back in theaters. But little girl and basically she just like finds like a portal to a different world, it's like the same people that she knows in like her actual life but they're just like the opposite of themselves so they're like happier and nicer and cooler but as the movie progresses like you see that like it's actually kind of not who they are. Are, I don't even know how to explain it, but it is a little spooky, a little creepy to me, again, to be a kid's movie, but here we are. So <laughs> nonetheless, I think that this is kind of a fun inspo. I didn't want to do anything like super creepy. I'm not into like special effects and like gore and stuff like that. If you catch me watching anything Halloween themed, it's definitely either going to be a cartoon 
or something with like mild violence like i'll do scream i'll do halloween that's pretty much it nothing nothing past that and if you know you know i'm not gonna say the words or like you know <laughs> even get too much into it because i don't want youtube to get me but yeah that is kind of the vibe of my halloween let me know down below what is your ideal halloween what kind of things do you look forward to around this time what kind of movies do you like to watch what kind of things do you like to do things like that Since I'm not too big on spooky movies, I really do enjoy doing a little like more wholesome fun. I do like to carve pumpkins or just even set them outside just as is. Because I think some pumpkins just look really cute just sitting on your porch. Especially those like heirloom pumpkins or like the kind of funny looking ones or like the gourds and stuff like that. I know they're like ugly to some people, but I think they're kind of unique and they actually do look kind of cool when you like set them up nicely. I like doing stuff like that. I love apple cider. I don't know if anybody else does, but I definitely do. Me and my mom enjoy it a lot during the season. And also too, I just love how the environment looks. Like it's just so nice because I live in the Midwest. So I just really love seeing all of the fall leaves all over the ground. And just before they even hit the ground, just the pretty colors that they are. Such a nice time of year. It's just so gorgeous. I think it honestly can't be beat by any season. So if we're being honest, I definitely did have inspiration for this set. I did see multiple people do this Coraline inspired set and I took a couple of inspiration, you know, pieces from either set that I was looking at and kind of just meshed them all together. Unfortunately, I, I did put this up for sale on my site. However, it already sold out, which is awesome, you know, but I just sorry for anybody who did want it. I don't think I will be making it again, but maybe if you wanted a custom set, I can, you know, obviously do it again for you. But in terms of just having it as a listing, that was my only time I was going to do that. So I apologize in that way. But again, if you guys are interested in shopping my press-ons, I do sell these. So go ahead and look in that description box down below and you guys can check out all my work. I'm more than willing to do a lot more spooky sets this season. I'm very inspired by this season, so I just can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I feel like stars are always so difficult for me to do. It's just such a tricky skill for me. I think especially when I'm recording because I have to be really careful with my brush strokes and just making sure that they actually look like stars. Stars are like cool. I think that they're really nice designs that you can put on and it just shows your artistic ability. But again, if you're overdoing those corners and those sides, it can easily just become a blob and it's no longer cute. <laughs> A tough skill for sure, but definitely something that's super fun once you get the hang of.
For this nail, I kept it super simple, and I love doing blooming gel because it just does all the work for you. I love that concept, and whenever I figured this out, I just love doing marble effects. Basically, on my little paint palette, I just took a bunch of blues and just different colors that worked well together, and then put the blooming gel on, let it sit for a second, and then just gently let the brush kind of put the paint all over the nail. That way, it can kind of give a nice water marble effect without having to do too much work. Sometimes it kind of depends. I feel like often I find that the blooming gel kind of works pretty fast, but I think when you're putting a whole bunch of it on a nail, it kind of just bumps into each other and it makes it difficult to spread. So I sometimes just manually move the paint around with my brush or with a daughter tool so I can kind of make it look how I want it to because sometimes it just doesn't spread quite enough or it just doesn't look like doesn't look like how I wanted it to. So I sometimes just take matters into my own hand. <laughs> But again, I used the blue because I wanted to incorporate colors that reminded me of the movie. Um, like I said, the little girl in the movie has blue hair, actually, so I think that's kind of neat that um, I could just bring that element into the nail set. I'm definitely somebody who is inspired by photos. I love to do kind of like copy and paste work. Um, some people may kind of look down on that or frown upon it because it's not as original or it could just be a little bit controversial in terms of like having original ideas and things like that but i do try my best to give credit where it's due and to whoever it was originally from but also too i think it does show your ability to give people exactly what they want so i did speed this part up because it's just the exact same process except i'm going to be doing a couple of different designs on these nails but just wanted to show you guys the process because i don't want my videos to be too too short but i also want them to be you know short enough so that y'all can enjoy them and actually keep <laughs> like stay tapped in because yeah i don't want to be boring i don't want to give you guys content that's not fun to watch speaking of fun content to watch if you guys have any designs at all or any techniques that you want to see me try for the spooky season whether that's like the droplet effect where it kind of looks like I don't even know if I can say some of these words like I don't want to get demonetized <laughs> and I don't want them to like you know take my video down if I'm saying certain words but if you want to see like the I guess like slime effect or certain characters from movies and things like that I could even try that I'm not really big on nail art I think the most you'll probably see me do is like junk nails or like even the last video that I did that had the STO logo in it that I hand painted and the stars i feel like that's about all i've done really in terms of nail art but if you guys want to see me try like ghost face or like the scream mask and things like that i don't know something kind of around those lines i can try that for you guys i'm definitely willing to experiment i mean that's what this page is all about it's just for fun so i'm having fun and just letting you guys watch the process and also taking advice as well because i know some of y'all have some good advice for me but y'all be acting like you can't comment, so it's cool. I guess you guys don't want me to get better. Just kidding, I love you guys. I think you guys have been really helpful and very supportive. I love everybody that watches my videos. I think that it's super cool to even know that my page has grown this much in the past couple years. To even think about 1,600 people being subscribed to my channel is kind of nuts to me. Like, it's already wild whenever you see influencers that have, like, huge platforms and it's like, that's a crazy amount of people to be supporting one person. But even just on a smaller scale, like what I have for myself and what our community that we have going on, having 1,600 people is insane, guys. That's so many people. Like, imagine being in, like, an auditorium and that many people are there. I'd be so, like, overwhelmed. But I think that's so cool and I'm really happy that you guys are joining me on this journey. If you're somebody who wants to support further or you just don't wear nails yourself but you still want to support what I'm doing, I do have a thanks button that's underneath all of my videos and it basically allows you to donate however much money you want towards my YouTube channel 
And you guys can trust that I'll be using this money for a good cause. Like I said earlier, I am trying to move soon and just get my own place and kind of build up my business to be bigger than what it is. I want it to be something greater than I can even imagine. I'll be using it towards supplies, education, things of that nature so that I'm able to just pour back into what I've started. You guys have been a great help to me just watching my videos, but if you guys feel so compelled to do so, I'd greatly appreciate it, but obviously there's no pressure to do that at all. So yeah, as you can tell, this set is looking a lot, or this hand is looking a lot like the other hand. It's just a few things are different. Some have French tips, some don't. Um, the marble effect is the same on both hands. This nail right here is different. It's actually going to be a black French tip with spiderweb effect. I think it turned out very nice and it's also super easy to do. I think the spiderweb thing is gonna be super popular this season and it's so easy, even very much beginner friendly. And all it takes is some simple lines and some patience because it does take a little bit. I just have it sped up just a little bit for you guys. But see how easily that just came together and now it looks like a cute little spider web. I'm just going in and making some lines thicker so you can kind of get a better feel for that 3D kind of looking effect against the black and white. I think it looks super cool. So like I do this for all of my sets, I always go in with the very last step being charms and pearls and any other attachments I want to add. So I'm just taking my McCart glue which works like a dream. It's my favorite glue to use when it comes to putting on charms. Just ignore what I did there. I definitely got glue everywhere and I just didn't do it right. So ignore that, but love Makar. I think it works super well for beginners and just anybody who wants to, or even experienced nail techs as well. I think it's just a really good tried and true type of nail glue. Once all my charms are accurately placed and cured, I'm finally going to go in with my top coat. This is the absolute best part because it means that we're done. And then also it just adds a very pretty finish and allows you to get long wear out of your nails. And also too, it kind of makes the nail designs pop a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but sometimes that top coat really does wonders. Once that's all complete, this is going to be the final design. I think it turned out really, really cute. Honestly, I think it could have even had a little spider charm on the spider web nail, but you know, it's already done with and I think it turned out great. So thanks so much for turning into this first video of my spooky season series. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!